Hello everyone, I am Hussain M. D. Khalid, doctoral final year student of Kyush University working on nuclear energy materials. My presentation title is Comparative Studies on Hydrogen Behavior in Proton Conducting Zirconate. So why oxide ceramics? Hydrogen isotopes are used in fusion reactor. In fusion reactor, oxide ceramics has two potential applications, tritium leakage preventing coating materials, where oxide that does not allow hydrogen to pass through, and another one is the tritium purification system, where oxide can easily allow uh, to pass through the hydrogen. So this is uh, actually the proton conducting type of oxide. Uh, so proton conducting type of oxide has other electrochemical uh, device application like in fuel cell, hydrogen pump, hydrogen sensor, hydrogen isotope separator. So this study is very useful for uh, these types of electrochemical hydrogen device as well. Then for sample preparation and hydrogen exposure, we select two different zirconate sample. 10% yttrium doped barium zirconate or BZY, 3% yttrium doped along with 1.5% cobalt code of barium zirconate or BZYC. We collect the powder from the TYK company limited, making it disc from and after sintering, we get more than 98% dense uh, theoretical dense sample. After sintering, we use this types of vacuum device where we maintain about 10 to the power minus 5 Pascal pressure. And this device we use for two different experiments. First one is the TIP experiment, where we use DTO, HT, and water pre-dissolved uh, hydrogen sources. And for the TDS or thermal desorption spectroscopy experiment, we use deuterium and heavy water as a hydrogen source. Then we control the exposure pressure, exposure temperature, and the exposure time for both cases of this experiment. So what is TIP or the tritium imaging plate technique? We can discuss it in three steps, A, C, and D. Where the, this sample is the tritium exposed sample we put on IP. IP is a phosphor, uh, photo-stimulated phosphor layer, which is uh, radiation sensitive. So tritium irradiates the beta ray. It collides with the phosphor layer and electron hole pair are generated. So after few days of putting uh, this uh, sample on the IP, we scan it with the helium Leon laser. It irradiates the purple light or the PSL and PSL is nothing but the photo stimulated luminescence and the hydrogen information actually. So right hand side shows, uh, figure shows how we put the sample on the uh, IP along with the TCM standard and most right hand side shows uh, the imaging plate image uh, we obtain from after scanning this sample. This slide shows the cross-sectional tritium distribution for the case of HT exposure at 670 degree Kelvin. So blue means low tritium concentration and red means high tritium concentration. For the BZYC sample, for low, uh, lower exposure time, uh, tritium does not enter inside the sample. Even for higher exposure time, tritium is very difficult to diffuse inside the sample and non-uniform non tritium distribution is found in this case. In the case of BZYC sample, for lower exposure time, tritium can enter inside the sample in, uh, uniformly from both surface and for the higher exposure time, tritium uniformly distributed inside the sample. So in summary, tritium distribution better in BZYC and in non-uniform distribution was found in the BZY and uniform distribution is found for the BZYC for the case of HT exposure. But for the case of DTO exposure, for both BZY and the BZYC sample, uh, uniform tritium distributed inside the sample at lower temperature as well as higher temperature. In summary, tritium distribution better in BZYC, uniform distribution for both BZY and BZYC. Water vapor that is DTO shows better hydrogen activity as compared to a hydrogen gas sources that is HT. This slide shows the RNAs plot of hydrogen solubility. For the TRP cases, it shows it is temperature dependent for both BZY and BZYC and similar result was also found for the TDIS cases. This slide shows the comparison of hydrogen diffusivity between BZY and BZYC. For both cases, diffusivity is lower at lower temperature and diffusivity is higher at higher temperature. In summary, diffusivity of BZYC is higher than the BZY and the literature data for the proton is higher than the DTO and uh, show, HT shows the lower hydrogen diffusivity. In conclusion, uh, for the tritium purification and recovery system of the uh, fusion reactor, BZYC would be better than the conventional BZY and uh, 870 degree operating temperature provide better result of hydrogen solubility and the diffusivity and water vapor atmosphere is better than the gaseous hydrogen atmosphere for electrochemical device application. Thank you very much.